looks like where they do the hot air balloon rides. We are driving down to the Rio Grande to check out this hot spring. Adele, what? get up here. There's a big horned sheep. Really? Yes. Oh my gosh. Check it out. Yes, I'm sneaking up on you. Awesome. <laughs> All right, we are at the rim, the top of the Rio Grande River. We're going to park here and walk down the switchback of the road and then go on the half mile trail to get to the Black Rock Hot Springs. see the Rio Grande River down there. We're getting ready to start walking down into the gorge. some more bighorn sheep hoof prints. Oh, look at the cool layers of mesa dirt and then rocks, yeah. mesa dirt. And look at how red it gets before it actually goes into the rock. That is incredible. They're so soft. Yeah. Like feathers. Yeah. Well, that's a big cave. Alright, you can go ahead, Shiva. Oh, there's more cactuses. Those are the evil cactuses. Evil. There's like a little uh, cave. <laughs> I think we go up, Shiva. This is the half mile trail off of the road. And we are almost all the way down to the river level now. We're also just south of that famous John Dunn Bridge that I showed earlier. We have found the hot spring. This is literally the Rio Grande right here, and it is flowing 
from up here out of the side of this cliff down into this little pool so warm. that is super warm look at that so we got out here as early in the morning as we could so we can enjoy the warm water we looked it up and the water temperature is 98.5 degrees Water has this beautiful bluish color and is loaded with other minerals that kind of act as a muscle relaxer. So don't stay in here too long like we did. It makes it really hard to hike back out. This is worth the, the drive and the hike. There's no one here. <laughs> no one here. Yes. <laughs> I'm scared to touch the ground because I like, can't see the bottom. <laughs> Water has this beautiful bluish color and this dark black rocks all around. We saw this one rock that has a date of 1925, but they know for sure on record that this spring has been visited at least from the 15th century. And probably earlier than that, they just don't have on record. The color of the water is from all the minerals that are in there, the lithium and magnesium and sodium. It does wonders for soaking the muscles. Weird. It's like a black sand. Look at that. A very fine metallic black sand. And then just on the other side where it goes into the river, look at all the little, little fish. Gosh, look at that. They're just right across from us. Look how cute they are. What are they? The antelopes? They might be female bighorn sheep. You're right. Yeah, that looks like a mama and two babies.
Well, that's pretty cool. We just got done bathing for a couple hours in the pools here. We we're getting ready to leave, and we finally realized right across from us was a mama bighorn sheep and maybe two babies or two young ones. Very cool. So this was a pretty awesome experience. Uh, we were lucky to be the only ones down here and get down here early enough so the temperature was still cool outside so the water felt nice. Sometimes the river is up high and it floods into the pools. Uh, this is awesome black rocks all around here and pretty cool experience. And we're all relaxed from the mineral bath we had and now we have to hike all the way back up out of here and back up to the van the and we are going to head down the road to a new camping spot tonight. And as always, thanks for watching our Sprinter Van Adventures and if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe to our channel.